All right, guys, this week we are going to answer the debate. Are the arms more important or is the body more important in the golf swing? So this is a question I get all the time. What drives the golf swing? Is it your arms or is it your body? Now, there's a lot of different opinions on what the most important thing is when it comes to golf swing. A lot of people question whether you're pulling your arms down or pushing your arms out. This week, I want to kind of delve into the differences between the two, see how it's going to help you as a player, and really figure out what makes sense for your golf swing. If you're enjoying these videos, guys, please do me a favor. Please hit the like button. Put a comment down. If you have a question about your golf swing, I will gladly shoot a video tailored for you, helping you play better golf. And please, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Every subscriber helps. We're trying to build an awesome community here. I thank you very much for all your support. Now, there is a lot of debate and comment on whether the arms pull down and create the swing or whether it's your body that pushes your arms out to create the golf swing. I really want to dive in and talk about the differences between the two movement patterns, how they can be done, and what everyone is truly talking about. So the debate is really between camps that say the arms have to pull down in front of the player before the chest really rotates to impact and then you release. And the other camp who says from the top of your backswing, your chest pushes the arms down and you rotate around the corner. Now, I teach players in both methods and I have had amazing results, sent kids that I taught from a little age off to college with scholarships doing both matchups. Now, at the current time of my life, I like the rotary movement. I like the big turn in the golf swing out of the body. Now, it doesn't have to be done that way. Either of them will work efficiently to create a good strike and create a good golfer. But understanding the differences between the two is very important. So if you're trying to be a more rotary golfer or the golfer who pushes their arms instead of feeling like they're pulling the handle down, you need to understand some tilts. So first of all, in your backswing, you need to get your arms close to shoulder plane. If they get too high, then there's gonna have to be some pull down on your arms in the downswing in order to get it into a functional position in a functional plane coming down to the golf ball. Now the, the, the first movement for a player who's trying to really use their body is they have to start creating rotation. So when they're at the top of the backswing, the lead hip is going to sit down and start turning back. That is going to create a condition where we're pushing pressure into the lead foot, but we're also starting the rotary motion. So we're starting to uncoil our body. Now, matching up tilts is incredibly important when you're trying to take that downward pull out of play. So if you get up top and you start this motion here, you're going to feel is though your arms are against your chest and when the chest sits down with that motion it's going back into some forward bend. That's going to start pushing the arms down and out towards the golf ball. So your body is what is driving that initial motion to get the club head traveling on a good plane out to the golf ball, not pulling your hands away from your body and down. Push it with your chest. After you get that club moving down, you're going to feel two crunches here. You're going to feel like your chest is going this way, but your rib cage is crunching back this way. So you're staying centered over the golf ball when you're making that rotary move. That's going to get the club in a position where it's coming down without having to put that force from your hand pulling out. Now, after it gets into this position, we're going to start bringing the lead shoulder up and through impact, which is going to drag the hands more up and left. Now, if everything was done properly, the club should have shallowed behind you and been in a good position where that rotation will whip it around in front of you and return it to the golf ball in a highly functional manner. It's going to allow the hands to get ahead, get good compression, and really put a solid strike on the ball. Now, Using the rotational movements are really going to allow you to use the ground to create forces, really keep the hands passive because your big muscles are handling everything. But if you're a player who pulls down, that's okay. Now, when we go up to the top, we want to feel as though the butt of the club is working out towards where the golf ball is. 
So when we're pulling down, we want to make sure we are not pulling straight this way. If we start putting a force or pulling straight down, the shaft's going to get steep and we're going to require a lot of timing through impact to be able to hit that golf ball. Now, you, you, if you go back to the one plane hardy swing, this is a great example. You're pulling everything out in front of you, but you're turning your chest. So right about this time, the chest is going to be a little bit close to the golf ball. Whereas if we were a rotary golfer, golfer it would be parallel. So from here, you're going to feel like you're just releasing your hands through impact. So you've pulled the club down on plane, your body's still releasing and turning, but now we have to get the club head back to the golf ball. And that hand release is what's gonna do it. Now, over the years, I have noticed players that have made this method their own don't quite have the distance of the players I teach with rotary swings. You can still hit the ball far enough to be incredibly functional on a golf course and make it and play college golf or even beyond but it's going to be a little bit more timing through impact. If you're good at doing that, I would never change that in a player. I get players that are throwing hands at the ball all the time, and I don't stop them from doing that if they're highly functional. But I hope this video helps clear up the difference between the golfer who is turning and pushing their arms out versus pulling their arms behind them and throwing the club through impact. Both methods can be incredibly beneficial to a player, Whichever one you're doing, it's fine. You have to find the matchups to make it work better for you in order to play better golf. I hope you like this video. If you do, I hope to see you next week. Thanks, you guys. Hey, guys, if you like this video, please like and comment. I come out with new content every Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Thanks a lot, you guys.